Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating from WisdomSeekers.net. The .net's not up, but this is my logo. It's a phoenix rampant. You can find me on uh, YouTube. I try to answer everybody. You can find me on Facebook Messenger, my work page. The meta is designed specifically to reach out to, so and talk to me. I'm also on Twitter five times now, and this will be the sixth day. I do believe it's sixth day. Uh, I, I do try to answer everything if I can. So please feel free to reach out. And this is for Water Sign Cancer, Scorpio Pisces for May 20th, 2023. And, and, the, and, the, and the energy of today is realizing where we're at. Because I think a lot of people think we're, we're stalled and not moving and that we don't realize how far they have come along in the spiritual journey and I'm talking about individually how you may not realize that you are more advanced than you think you are so the first card shows this too it says the eight of swords the eight of swords is a card of deep frustration not knowing how not knowing knowing that you're trapped not but not seeing a way out of it well the the way out of it might it's it's quite actually simple we just have to look outside of the outside of the uh, of our uh, our blinders outside of the box because if if you keep seeing doing the same thing over and over again Einstein made that comment, if you try to solve something from the level that you were created it, you cannot. But if you, so if you look at the same things over and over again without changing your perspective, you can't get out. But if you change your perspective, then you can change how you deal with things. And this would be a conscious choice. You want to make a conscious choice to, uh, to change your uh, change what's happening in your life by seeing things from a different perspective and it, it is time because the Queen of Wands and it's been it's been a while actually that we've been cleaning things up for because the cycle this cycle is ending there are signs that the new cycle is beginning we've been having signs for about three months now people getting jobs after not having them for a long time people having uplifting experiences that weren't there before there are signs that we are moving into a new energy but to, to get to the new energy we have to clean up the old energy so that's where we've been stuck for the last little while dealing with it we do have a tremendous amount of support if you keep out and I, I this I'm harpy yes I know you have to ask over and over again for your guides to help you. This is a free will universe, and if you don't have the free will to ask, they can't help you. But if you wake up in the morning, ask. Go to sleep at night, ask. Tell, have a, have a, um, if you're in a rough spot, ask every for 15 minutes, please help me, I need help. Then they will bend over backwards for you. The thing that's very interesting about this right now is if you look outside of the box, you will find that you see things a lot more clearly than you did before. And this is a judgment card, but I, I've used it for a long time as being called out of the dark into the light and the judgment, we no longer judged negatively. That's old energy, that's third, 3D energy. We're shifting to 5D energy, so, and some 4D energy, but that's, that's a certain kind of person who's going to the 4D energy. And they're, they're, they're the warriors. And if you're a warrior, yes, you'll be going to 4D energy because the 4D energy is is again the cleansing energy you have be cleaning up a lot of the energy that's stuck in the fourth dimension the fourth dimension is nightmares and bad dreams and and thoughts that need to be eliminated 
those are the warriors that will be doing that. The rest of us are going to the th fifth dimension where we will see things clearly. And that is why the judgment is that we're doing quite well. And please feel free to, to move into the fifth dimension. The Knight of Pentacles is a young man, a young person, but it's an energy of the person who's proud and pleased of what they're doing. And we are allowed to be proud and pleased with what we're doing. We have worked hard. It's not ego if it's the truth. It's only ego if you, if you look at it and your head becomes larger because of it. So what you do is you take the energy, wow, I did this, I'm good at this. You take that, wow, I'm good at it, and say, and acknowledge it, then you put it into the earth because the earth is willing to help us in any way, shape, or form it can. And that way we don't get a fat head. The next two, two cards are very, very important. They're not, it's not the empress to go with the emperor, but it is a, a very part, it is the earth mother. So the, the, the emperor with the feminine energy is strong and confident and sure and helps people and sees things and is, is very positive. Doesn't mean that they won't put you in your place. It doesn't mean they don't have boundaries because that is a positive thing to have boundaries and know, your, know who you are. But with the feminine energy of the earth, we will make great strides in helping the earth. Not necessarily through restriction, but through growth, through new knowledge, through new experiences. So with that I'm going to... S new experiences, new knowledge is very, very important because there's many ways of doing things where we can be in abundance and that's what we're looking for so we want to celebrate today is a day when you today is a day when you see who you truly are acknowledge who you truly are love who you truly are and then put it into the earth okay namaste namasco i love you and you i do love bye